Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm going to be talking to you about the greatest comeback in judo history in my opinion because this story is very important to teach us that even the strongest, most relentless of us have their down moments and their losses and just even the thought of giving up crosses their mind. It's not just us and the story is about Masahiko Kimura's losses and how he came back and avenged his losses. Now, we all know that Kimura is very famous for his All Japan wins, his win against Elio Gracie, uh, his drilling of Osotogari, his relentless randori, both standing and on the ground. But believe it or not, he had his downfalls and his moments of defeat. And in this video, I'm going to be detailing them. So this story is according to him in his autobiography. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to read about it. But as a small recap, Masahiko Kimura reached the fifth degree black belt at just the age of 18. So he was five foot six or 170 centimeters tall at 85 kilograms or 187 pounds. Uh, he became at the age of 16, after just six years of judo, he was already fourth dan. He had defeated six opponents. They were all third and fourth dan in a row. And in 1935, at the age of 18, he became the youngest ever godan or fifth degree black belt after defeating eight consecutive opponents at the Kodokan. So this is a small recap. Let's talk about his four career losses. So. In the spring of 1935, it was the Kohaku Shiai or the red-white team competition at the Kodokan. Uh, Kimura defeated eight opponents and he went on to his ninth match against uh, Miyajima, who was a Meiji University student, but Kimura lost uh, with a Harai Goshi. So that's the first defeat. The second one was in May of 1935. Uh, Kimura fought uh, Kenichiro Osawa, a fifth dan uh, judoka. Kimura attacked with an Ochigari as a combo with Osotogari, but Osawa saw it coming and countered Kimura with such a force that Kimura suffered a concussion. Now, in his second match at the fifth dan championship, he fought Kenshiro Abe. I did a video about Kenshiro Abe, a very long and extensive video about Kenshiro Abe, who was 5'5 five five, uh, or 168 centimeters tall and 71 kilograms, so 14 kilograms less than Kimura and 2 centimeters shorter. So when it comes to physique, Kimura had all the advantages. So Abe was so skillful and so talented. In his movements, he was so graceful that Kimura described him as fighting a shadow. So every throw he tried, Osoto and Seoenage, did not affect Abe whatsoever. And Abe countered eventually with Uchimata, Hanegoshi and Sasai Tsurikomiyashi. He was so quick uh, and strong that Kimura th was thrown off multiple times. And the referee eventually gave the win to Abe and then Abe went on to win the fifth Dan division that year. So this is the third loss. And finally, in the fall of 1935, again at the Kohaku Shiai, the fifth Dan division, Kimura beat his first two uh, opponents very easily. He went on the third match against Hideo Yamamoto, who was five foot four, so shorter than Kimura and 65 kilograms or uh, 143 pounds so he was a lot lighter and shorter but he was older he was 24 years old and he beat him with experience so Kimura charged at him walked forward and and as he was walking forward Yamamoto swept him with a Deashi Barai or a foot sweep and scored a Wazari later on Kimura tried to uh, make up for it and try to score and eventually get the win he started to lead with his opposite foot however yamamoto also saw that uh, coming it was very transparent and swept him for ippon with ko uchigari so kimura got swept easily twice 
someone who is smaller than him, someone who is shorter and skinnier, swept him twice and got the Ippon. So in my opinion, arguably one of the most embarrassing ways you can lose is by the Ashiharai. So say someone picked you up and slammed you with Serenage or Uchimata, that's all fine because they have good technique and also a bit of strength, but getting swept in my opinion is arguably the most embarrassing way to go. Just check out uh, any compilation of uh, Fabio Basile sweeping people. It is not a beautiful scene. So Yamamoto continued to defeat four other opponents after Kimura. So this is arguably Kimura's lowest point in his life uh, from the spring all throughout the fall of 1935 at the age of 18 years old just being promoted to fifth dan arguably the greatest achievement and yet he lost in these terrible ways getting countered getting swept and suffering a concussion so he was extremely uh, let down and disappointed in himself that he even considered quitting judo altogether just so just to show that even the strongest can have these low moments and even considered quitting so if you lose or have these terrible moments or terrible sessions or competitions just remember the story because the story is for you so uh, he had encouragement and advice from his friends particularly Funeyama and Kai and he started training again with a lot more determination all through the night after everyone went home he would practice Osotogari against a tree this was something that was known and being done uh, Tokio Hirano also did this to the point where he dreamed of uh, laying down a building with an Osotogari so after six months of training his technique became far better that during daily randori at the Kodokan at least 10 people would have a concussion so people whenever would come up against him they would tell him please no Osotogari when we spar any technique but also Togari because it was that lethal and we saw it against Elio Gracie how strong it was so let's start with the first rematch against Osawa at the Metropolitan Police Dojo so here the match started and Osawa uh, was thrown for Ippon very easily so the first one being uh, the second loss so you have the first loss which was against uh, Miyajima but the next one was Kenichiro Osawa, which we, he met him at the police station and threw him easily for Ippon. The next one was Kenshiro Abe. Uh, he, they met at the Kodokan. Kimura asked for a randori. Abe happily obliged. The 500 mat dojo was silent except for the two. Everyone was watching. A 20 minute practice Abe was thrown multiple times with Seo Enage, Osotogari, Ochigari so the top three finishers of Kimura and then eventually Abe had to quit because he could not go on any longer so this is the second uh, rematch the third it was thanks to his uh, sensei uh, Tatsukuma Yushijima he arranged a match against Hideo Yamamoto the one who swept him with ease twice in the same match at the Mitsubishi Dojo in Tokyo so Yamamoto at this time was just simply no match for Kimura and Kimura improved so much and he caught him with the famous Udegarami and tapped him out so this is arguably the greatest comeback story in judo history in my opinion uh, even the strongest the best the most relentless of us have their lowest of moments and the story should be shared and should be talked about uh, unfortunately he didn't get a match against uh, the first one which was Miyajima but all the three rest he got uh, a rematch and threw them with ease and tapped them out easily so uh, when we think of Kimura we should also think of these low moments not just him against Elio Gracie because his competitive career was just so much packed but this uh, incident of the losses and the down moments to the point where he wanted to quit in my opinion is the most important story because we all have these moments and we should remember that even the strongest of us have these moments so 
If you have anything else to add, please share it down below. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read more. Uh, this was Shadi and thank you for listening.